All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the start of episode seven of our Dead Island 2 playthrough. Uh, let's get into it. So last time around, I said that we're going to focus on some side quests in this episode so we can maybe get a level or two out of that. And that's what we're going to do. Um, we only have a few available. Uh, I don't know if it'll take the whole episode because I try to make these like about an hour each unless there's something we're doing and I can finish it up quickly. So we'll, we'll see. But um, let's see. Hmm. What's the one we got available in Beverly Hills? Let's do it during the day. I really no reason to play at night. Did he do it? Huh? Did who do what? Michael, he he spoke to me earlier, said he'd come to say goodbye, that he had one more stop to make, and then he was heading off into the hills to... He, he told you? Oh, no, hey, don't cry. He went, uh, peacefully, like he wanted, yeah? Deep breaths, come on. It's just... <sighs> no one understood me like Michael did. When I was filling out my college applications, I broke down the week before they were due. And Michael stayed with me every night until 3 a.m. helping me get them all finished. And he hates staying up late. Mom loves to think I'm some sort of wonder child, but I wouldn't be where I am today without Michael. Hmm. That's sweet. Please. I just need some space. What the hell was that tune we did for that t You know, you're like, you're good at this. You, you're good at, um, apocalypses. This. Apocalypses? Stop, stop. You're making me blush. But I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm not. Roxy and me, staying out of trouble is like a full-time job, man. I've only ever been really good at one thing. And I barely even do it anymore. Gods and whiskey is still something to be proud of. You were the soundtrack of my teenage years. Ouch. And exactly. Like, what have we done lately? I gotta find that spark again, man. Get back in touch with the gods instead of just the whiskey. Oh, Farouk. Gesundheit. Farouk's our producer. He lives next door down a hill, like, totally obsessive about discographies. Collects every master tape and unreleased track you could imagine, including ours. Hey, some of those had real promise. I wonder if... maybe sample them? Hey, I I'll be right back, man. Tell Roxy not to worry. Right back? You're not thinking of going out there for feckin' master tapes. I know you're not. I'm not? You're not good at apocalypsing, remember? I'll get your tapes. For one thing, being responsible for a new G&W album would mean bragging rights forever. Oh, kick ass! If Farouk's not home, just ask his boyfriend Dave to show you around. Tell him I sent you. If either of them are still there and alive, sure. I'm feeling it, you know? The beat of impending... Okay. Um, what's this one? Okay. Uh, have we done anything for this one? We can check in our journals. So we got one. One should be the one that's on the, in the pool, right? Yes. Um, we might as well do those. Yeah, see, there's supposed to be a note over here, too, for that uh, Lost and Found quest, so... Let me see. 
check our challenges. So we're done with the rifle one. I need to do shotgun. Do I have a shotgun? I do have a shotgun. Under level shotgun, but I do have a shotgun. Quest over here aren't available yet. Don't know exactly when those become available. I bet I could hoist myself up onto that French rioter style. So here should be the note for that one lost no found. Hey, I wanted to kill that zombie. Sorry about this, Dave. Sorry, Dave. You weren't much of a bouncer. I'll just let myself in. The best clubs are always the hardest ones to get into. Now. Let's see if the DJ has these old G and W tracks. These are post-evac interior design choices. My finely tuned feminine instinct for decor tells me so. Really? Master tape number one. Hope I get to listen to some of these last tunes. Ah, feck. Dave, if this is your booby trap, I'm no longer sorry you got zombified. Let's play follow the cable. Hey, puke and excellence is on this one. Proper old school party track, that is. Oof. Safety in numbers does nothing against just one little zombie nibble. Oh well, time for a jam. Hmm, how do we want to approach this? We could use Fury. Beautiful. Ugh. 
There it is. Comeback album of the century. Here we go. I don't need to fight you, so I'm not going to. Music historian has returned. Oh, hey, I don't remember calling a. Do we have an interview scheduled? An interview? No, you rampant waste of oxygen. I'm back from having, at great personal risk, mind, recovered your stupid master tapes from your stupid producer's undead house party. Farouk's? Oh, man. Dave's gonna be like heartbroken. On which note, I bear startlingly similar news. Oh, sad note, man. Like, ballad-worthy. There was this one track we laid down and... Hey, wait. D did you say master tapes? I was just thinking about getting those back! What an unexpected coincidence. This is fucking awesome, man! I'm gonna listen to them right away. I... Oh, there's some gems on here, you know? Some real gems. I... Uh, I think. Hey, thanks. You're like... A guardian angel of rock. I suppose that's something to put on me business cards. On his list, you'll find a word. Sweetest thing you ever heard. You know, if you were a zombie, you'd still be... Oh, hey! You got me the tapes, didn't you? I did at that, for me sins. Hey, thanks to you, I'm on my way back up, man. Those samples and old ideas are gonna be part of a new album, man. Big themes, big riffs, sex, death, undeath, badass lyrics. Well, I'm a little out of practice with the lyrics, I'm not gonna lie. No, you? I don't believe a word of this. Screaming fans, screaming guitars. Oh, hey, I gotta go to my place and get Chopper. The Apocalypse needs a soundtrack, man, and Ricky Rex is gonna ride with the horsemen. Metal as fuck. That's the cover of the album right there. You stay, work on the music, and I'll get your Chopper for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, killer. Because I got this song brewing, and I gotta keep hold of it. Oh, you need to find Misha. Chopper's locked away upstairs at my place. You gotta be careful. Cause, cause this one time when we didn't lock up, when the party finished, the whole upstairs was like empty, totally cleaned out. So yeah, Misha, she had the key. Then I'll get it from Misha. You best go around the back through the kitchen. Oh, and if the band are there and you know, milking their encore, could you send them up to the big gig in the sky? I'll hand deliver their backstage passes myself, boy. Oh, it's no use. Without my chopper, I'm just a tape without a player. Missing the final piece, separated from the one thing that could set my music free. Without his hand, hands, he's a bro. Okay. 
Okay, so... Okay. Drop it. Drop it. Bad zomp. Very on brand for Ricky. Smells like authenticity. Wait, no, I mean old beer. Now this looks like it was some proper fun in the sun. Locked. Finding this Misha Ricky mentioned. Ah, or if I make some noise, she might come to me. Time to have a concert. Let's get this rager going. Do the whole sequence without dying. Let's apparently. get this rager going. Hey, irrelevant old rockers. Ricky says hi. Why do I have to do anything when they're killing themselves? Encores for you.
Come on, come at me. Yeah, yeah, explode, explode. Come on. Oh, now you don't want to come for me, I get blown up. Making trouble for the rest of us. Where's Misha? Time for a stage dive. I don't think that'll solve our problems. I'm not dying at this point and restarting all this. without a girlfriend homeless <laughs>
I gotta get rid of her. She'll just keep summoning more zombies. Would love, would love to stay and party more, but I gotta go, boys. Hope there's at least a sex dungeon or something else worth hiding. level is this weapon? Oh, well that explains why it's not doing much damage. If I were an idiot drunk rocker, where would I put my axe? <laughs> Typecasting. No, that was cool. That was not so cool. Both these doors should be locked. Honestly, I think it is better to play at night. It might make some areas trickier to see, uh, especially for me, but honestly, like, stuff that does stick out is, like, easier to see than in the bright daylight. So, honestly, playing at night would probably be better.
Jobber. Must admit, she's a sexy lady. Come on, guys, I just want to leave. The house party's over. That fall would kill me, wouldn't it? No, actually, it wouldn't. I've just killed gods and whiskey. Not really how I was hoping to go down in the history books. That hurt. Okay, I can climb a sign. Okay. Oh, you got Chopper! Killer! This is it, new dawn. Oh, did you... Uh, were the band... They had their final dramatic curtain call before it was curtains for them. That's... they would have wanted that. I'm gonna write them a song for the new album. Slam to the Slaughter. A new album, is it? Yeah. Check this out. One man and one woman and her pain in the ass daughter on a quest through the apocalypse to put a band together Playing music so spine-shakingly epic, the zombies' heads literally explode! Love it. Very zeitgeisty. Very now. Do us a favor, though. Make Jesse your tour manager. She'll do right by you, and you can trust her to keep you alive. Yeah, yeah, that works. Another new start. Hey, you really helped me out. Oh, I, I got this big sword I used on the Knights of the Sound Fable tour. You want it? Back in legendary. They said this old skull could write no more. That's what the tabloids said. That's what those new hippity dippity artists said. That's what everyone said. But not our fans. No. Our fans believed in us. And that's who this album is for. I thought it was for Jesse. Well, yeah. And Jessie, she counts as a fan, right? Oh, sure. Sure, that's why she bought all that crazy soundproofing for her room. She padded it right up. Just didn't want any new track spoilers. Oh, shit. I thought she just didn't want to hear us doing it anymore. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I think the only quest left available for here, but our next step isn't here, is the, lo uh, the Lost and Found. So, I have no idea where the fourth clue is. I've only ever found three when I was doing this mission for the first time. But the next clue for this is actually in, um, is in Bel Air. Um, I think we'll go for night. I think it's just better to play at night. I thought it would be nicer during the day, maybe easier to see things, but mm, not really. Miss me? I did, actually. I'm sorry for... for how I left things. It's good to see you alive. Ah. Uh. You can't get rid of me that easily. A 
loved these windows when we moved in. So much light. Now I wish we'd bought a bunker. Sell some stuff real quick. Okay, so what would be the plus best way to go? Oh, and also we have the side quest down here. Actually, I want to do this one right now too, because this gets us uh, Curtis is done, sore eyes. and it's really good. I want to chat. All right, there, old fella. You're making yourself at home, I see. Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. Just a pity that the tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Why didn't you say it was an emergency? Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. <laughs> and I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint-Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> if only some kind soul would help an old man out, I could raise everyone's spirits. With some spirits. Ah, uh, that's a shame. I don't know of any kind souls around here. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special that'll make those mealy-mouthed, undead bastards slither back into their graves. If you're talking about a weapon, then I find that my soul's suddenly feeling very kind and helpful. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed. It actually works out because uh, one of the objectives takes us to the goat mansion. You ever held a gun before? And uh, we need to go gun. there for our next note. Anything? Nah, of course you ain't. You best be a quick study. We're in enough danger without everyone waving guns around. If the zombies get in here, you better use anything you can to fight, whatever it takes. We've all had to do terrible things to survive this far. Necessary. We shall follow Curtis's quest. Get rid of the shotgun I had. No. Right then, where will that good stuff be hiding? Looks like a fun night. Huh, that note wasn't there before. Dang. My liver senses aren't tingling. No booze in here.
good for degreasing engines, and not much else. Looks like I'm after the only drink this fella didn't get his hands on. To the guest room! Okay, this guy will fall us in there, so we don't really want to be in there with him. Unfortunate, but he did die, so. Ah, I forgot about the traps. That just leads back into the house. That door is locked when you first come in here. It's locked tight. Now, where's his old doll? You're still alive. Seems I'm a natural. No, bye bye to you. That's so creepy that they say bye bye before they blow up. They so did not need to add that to the game, and yet they did. Did I not grab the key? Oh, I thought that enemy we needed was on there. Oh, I did grab it. They just want me to go around and back up, but I had the shortcut door open. I guess the game doesn't account for that. I'm taking you home.
This here is a fancy establishment. So, I'm after the wine cellar. Okay, so we have two objectives here. We have to do this quest, and we also want to find a big guy for no, for a different quest, for the lost and found one. Not even for cooking with. Mr. Sinclair won't be having this. Here we are. Now look at this quality gargo. I don't know why there's so many boomers in this one area right now. And that almost killed me. You there, kid? If you're still down at that modern mansion, look out for a cigar box. The finest Cubans. Gave them as a housewarming gift. And I got a hankering. My, you've got a pair as well as a hankering. That wasn't part of the deal, boy. <laughs> then I'll sweeten the deal. Check their master bedroom, and you'll find a little something extra. <laughs> Danny can be a little ruder than um, Carla is, and I love the difference. Okay. Um... The big guy we need is supposed to be out here, I think. Yes. That is the guy we need. Or I thought it was a big guy, but I guess not. The key to Obi's boosted heirloom sword. Soon to be my boosted heirloom sword. Okay, now for the master bedroom. Which I do not have the key for. How did I miss that jump? There's like a ton of zombies in here. How am I missing this? There we go. not press back on my joystick there's no reason I should have walked backwards okay game you're messing with me now why is it doing that I've never had difficulty with this jump it's like I'm being pushed off the edge or something okay maybe I'm just not jumping far enough into the okay there we go
That's all of it. Better dash back before he decides he needs some of his favorite cheese, too. Hey, can I pass him some good cheese? I really like the reward for this quest. Oh, we can also do this one. Well, um, hello. I want whatever's in there. And once I've talked the mailman into giving it to me, it will be mine. Oh, well, there's also... Okay. No sign of the mailman. We have to go to the three houses for the mailman before we can get the key for this chest. Um... Let's see, what was the other one? Um, the other one is... Curtis's house. And... Um, Well, you know, we got the safe key for his, uh, we can do that too. Oh no, I thought we picked up the safe key. No, we didn't. I thought we did. Uh, where? Okay, we have to like go this way. I'm trying to do this off memory. I forgot that we had access to the mailman mission now. Um, and then. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's right here. So we did the one with the goat pen. Behind the elusive mailman. And the one at Curses. So the other mailman is. Um, Up at the first mansion. No, no across the street from Emma's. Okay. I do believe. Hold on. I should double check that. Because I know you have to go there for something. And I thought it was that one. Hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. I was right. So, we gotta go back towards Emma's anyways. That's a sh Might as well turn in that quest. And, um... Turn in that quest and then go from there. And then we'll have to come all the way back here for the mail truck. Which... Hopefully I remember the way, because it is a little confusing. So for this quest, we get Peggy, which is really, really good. And here you go. The drinks, sir, requested. You're too good to me, kid. 
And don't let anyone say that Curtis Sinclair is not a man of his word. You take my rifle, Pete. And for the cigars, I'll throw in some ammunition to get you started. Peggy, is it? So nice to see another lady with style around here. Old Peggy's done right by me over the years, but my joints can't handle her kickback no more. Treat her right, and she'll look after you, too. Well, give us a bell if you ever need us to pop by and shoot some zombies for you. Ah, uh, no need to worry about me, kid. They can try and bite me. My hide's tougher than a two-dollar steak. Besides, I can still handle a pistol just fine. I'll be all right with Peggy's little sister, Betty, on my hip. <laughs> All right, so, lesson one, pistol grip. Grabs the gun with two hands, tight, but not too tight. Don't want that recoil taking you out before the zombies get to you. Keeping your dominant hand wrapped around the grip. Hey, is that spot of dirt you've been cleaning for the last half hour more important than your life? Some of us deal with our emotions in ways that don't involve guns. Now quit waving that thing around. You're just as nuts as the zombies outside. Sorry, Miss Salazar, but this ain't no preschool classroom. You ain't prepared to get violent, then prepared to get chewed up. What's going True. on? You still here? Help me give Liz here a little handgun 101. We're losing people and we need all the fighters we can get. I may not know shit about guns, but even I know you don't point one at something you don't plan to shoot. So stop waving that one at me. Ah, uh, yeah, uh... Let's sit there. Let's pick this up later. We're gonna put Peggy away for now. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to do the mailman um, one and then we're going to call it for this episode. So basically what we're looking for is over here. So if I remember correctly, we just have to... Go over the dumpster, over the gate. Yeah. Up this way. Out here and around to the garage. Hi, hello. I have compelling arguments for you to give me all your stuff. My first federal offense. No, wait, I tell a lie. There was that thing in Roxbury when I was still fresh off the boat. I want to know about that thing. Okay, so now we can go back to the truck and open that case, which gives us another weapon. It's a unique weapon, but um, not the greatest. I think it's only a blue rarity, so... Um... I gotta try to remember my quickest way there. So, if we go through Emma's, through the back like we... No. Through the way you came, and then 
not Curtis's, but the first mansion you go through. Now we can get through it, I believe. So I was general area, I was right. Package mine. Yes, the shiny. If things can manage not to kill us, we can get back to Emma's. get the Okami and Wasaski. So that's a sword you get. I mean it's not a bad sword but it's easily outclassed by other weapons of higher rarity. But I mean if you want a weapon that you know you can't accidentally break down it's a good weapon. Um, we're gonna put that to... Well it's not doing multiple characters. I don't have like two versions of everything which is weird. But okay. Um, yeah. Always there for me, mother. But I'm gonna end it there. Um, I think that's all the side quests in this area we can do so far. Um, we'll do the other ones in the next episode, and maybe we'll get back to the main story. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys next time, and bye.